वंस अपॉन ए टाइम देर लिव ए किंग हु हैड फोर वाइव्स वन डे द किंग गॉट सीरियसली इल एंड वॉज ऑन इज डेथ बैट अफ्रेड टू वेंचर इन टू द आफ्टर लाइफ लॉन ही कॉल्ड हिज फोर्थ वाइफ होम ही लव द मोस्ट ही बाउट हर मैनी एक्सपेंसिव गिफ्ट ऑफ डायमंड गोल्ड एंड एलिगेंट क्लोथिंग ही आस्ट हर वुड यू डाई विद मी एंड गो विद मी टू द आफ्टर लाइफ द फोर्थ वाइफ जस्ट फ्लैटली रिफ्यूज सेइंग दैट शी कान डू दैट एंड वॉक वे फ्रॉम देअर द किंग लव हिज थर्ड वाइफ टू एंड वॉज वेरी प्राउड ऑफ हर ब्यूटी He called his third wife and asked the same question Would you accompany me to the afterlife The third wife replied that she loved her life too much and therefore she cannot go with him and also that she would remarry after his death The second wife has always been there for him in the times of his need So he called his second wife and asked her the same question The second wife apologetically replied that she would not be able to help him this time but would arrange his funeral and would be there for his funeral Just then a voice called out and said I will live with you and follow you wherever you go even if it is to the afterlife The king looked around and found that it was his first wife and this was the wife he took care of the least he felt embarrassed and said i should have taken a better care of you and given you more attention when i was alive now if we go into the depth of this story we will find that our fourth wife is our body we like to decorate it with nice clothes beautiful hairstyle nice jewelry but after death our body will be left here and we cannot take it with us to the afterlife our third wife is our possessions we spend so much time gathering our possessions like cars house jewelry furniture etc but in the end all this is left here and none of these goes with us to our afterlife in fact it will be given to other people and divided between them just like the third wife remarrying the second wife are our friends and family we trust them they are always there for us in the times of need but the farthest they can go is to our funeral and send us off they cannot go any further than this and last but not the least our first wife is our karma whatever good or bad karma we do in our life it accompanies us in our after life if we do good deeds in our present life then we will get happiness and peace in our after life and if we do bad deeds then we will get sorrow and misery in our after life these good or bad deeds leave behind impressions on your mind which we call sanskars as the sanskars will be so will be your habits and as your habits are so will you do your karma again and as your karma is so will you get the fruit so if you want to be happy in your present life and in after life then you have to do good karma and good deeds in your present life because after death only your karma will accompany you